What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Conquer's Bad Fur Day Blind. In the last episode, we started our Bad Fur Day. We started our adventure, we met Conquer, the rather interesting hero of this story, I guess. A hero is maybe generous. But anyways, we got over to this farmhouse, building, mill, something, and we had a mouse that we fed a bunch of cheese until it literally blew up. We saved half of a hive for a bee who then, well, <laughs> turned it into a turret and attacked everyone else. It's been an interesting game, to say the least, and I've had a lot of fun with it so far. But the last thing we had done, I believe, was... Oh, I'm not going to be able to do that yet, am I? Alright, so we'll just climb up here. We had opened up a barn door that we haven't truly explored yet, so I want to get inside this barn and see what we can find. It should be pretty interesting. Do I have to hit the switch again? Oh, I do. Interesting. Although, admittedly, I don't really know where that door is. Does the switch come off? No, it doesn't. Interesting. So that's good to know. Oh, I shouldn't have done that because I'm going to lose health, even though I don't think that that was that high up, which is unfortunate. So we take quite a bit of fall damage in this game. Let's see. Is the door over here? Yes. So we'll head on in and see what we can do. Looks like it's a pretty hopping <laughs> place to be. <laughs> Look at the little tiny guy. Hey, you over there. Huh? Yeah, you. Apparently, there's something real neat inside this barn. Uh, I can't quite see it myself. Unless, of course, some guy's jumping around stinking a horse poo's real neat. <laughs> Which, uh, of course, it isn't. <laughs> this is pretty neat. Oh. Uh-oh. Hey, Frankie! I think there's a little fellow over there. He's just coming in through the door. I think it's your turn to kick us. Is it your turn? Is it his turn? Yeah, yeah, I say we just turn. Yeah, Frankie, you don't kick his ass. Go on, go on, kick his ass. <laughs> hey, kick his ass. It's always my turn to kick my asses. Frank, just go over there and kick his ass, Frank, for f***ing sake. Yeah, yeah, go over there kick his ass. Somebody's got to kick his ass. It ain't gonna be me. I'm a, I'm a Russ. Yeah, you don't kick ass. Well, I'm a paint pot anyway. I'm a f paint pot. <laughs> this is ass. so funny. Hey, uh, okay, I'll kick his ass. I'm not going over there. He can come over here. Okay, okay, hey. hey here he comes. Quick, quick. Just keep still, keep still. <laughs> <laughs> This is so funny. This game is so funny. I feel like that's all I'm going to say this entire time. Are they coming after me? Or are they just moving around? Is one of them maybe hiding the the cash or something? Do I have to go around and, and try hitting each of them to see or what? I'll do it. I mean, there are only a couple left, right? Got to stay away from Frankie the the pitchfork. All right, so we've hit them all to no avail. So there's this switch over here. Let's go ahead and grab that. What's that gonna unlock? Nothing. Why is it not doing anything? I don't know. The lack of music is rather unsettling. There's chocolate in a couple of the corners, which is nice. There's a box here. And then we approach the the tools. <laughs> the tools with googly eyes. Classic rareware. Classic. Let's see. We can do some platforming here. Man, seriously, we took fall damage from that? What the damn diddly squat are you doing in my barn? Well, I never. It's a talking pitchfork. Not from round here, are you, boy? No, I'm from the 21st century. <laughs> I don't the recollect black in your type. Therefore, I conclude that I was gonna kick your butt all around this barn like there's no tomorrow. I was gonna stick my big foot right in you. Were your parents related? Like the boy <laughs> right. I was just gonna give you a whooping. Here we go. Wow, this game. Oh, man, it is moving fast. So here's the real question, where where did he go? 
Should I... So that didn't seem incredibly effective. Can I jump on him? No? Okay, well that didn't seem, seem to go too well. Can hit these guys. It's pretty funny in and of itself. You coming over here? Will you come over here? You will, okay. So the real question is... Oh man, I tried to hit him with the frying pan. So then maybe I could, where'd he go? There he is. What? Oh, interesting. So he's doing a new attack now, where he attacks and can break the, the hay. That comment about smelling like the... Was that... Was that white liquid the eyes? That's crazy. But that comment about smelling like horse poop is really funny. Yeah, those are the eyeballs that are flying off their heads and then splatting. You guys see that? Look at that! <laughs> That's unbelievable. So, I mean, this is the only thing I can think of at the moment, is trying to get rid of the hay this way. Because otherwise, it doesn't seem like we're really doing damage. I guess what I can do is, um, you know, bait him to attack in a particular direction and then try to jump out of the way, but... Obviously struggling a little bit. But we have chocolate available. Where's our, where's our friend? Come on. Come here, I got you now, boy. <laughs> so Conquer's a little bit slow in terms of platforming. I Jumping is a little bit delayed sometimes and, and so forth. But you know what? We're making it work. And it's pretty clear what the focus of this game is. And it's certainly the atmosphere, the character, and all of that. So we've gotten rid of all of the hay bales. Have we not? I've seen some kicking ass in my time, and that is the shittest crap of the shittest kick ass I've ever seen. Yeah, I, yeah, that is pretty crap. As, kick, as kicking ass goes, it was abysmal, and you is a sh bastard, stupid bastard. <laughs> Isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he sure is. So, what are you gonna do now? Kill yourself? Because I Yikes. recommend. Yeah, can you just get yourself? And Matt, we got a rope right here, and we got a rope. Yeah, we got a rope. There you go. <laughs> what kind of friends are you? I They're not friends at all. Oh, in that case, I is gonna kill myself. I'm gonna kill myself right now. That's all there is to it. You. Yikes. Certainly not friends. Also, ending your own life is never the answer. Please don't. What? You stupid bastard! <laughs> he even got a neck. Yeah, look at you up there hanging there. You stupid bastard! He ain't got a neck, are you? He ain't got a neck, has he? I already said that. Shut up. Oh, okay. I don't believe this. I don't appear to have a neck of any description. In fact, I ain't got an esophagus. Oh, little die damn! I was gonna be up <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> this game. <laughs> These characters. What is going on? There we go. What is... Oh my goodness. I don't know why it worked there, but that... That bee has seen better days. So what do we do to... Can I, can I break this open? No? Can I use this shovel? So it looks like there's a lot going on in the higher levels of this area. Is that... This last eye is literally watching me. <laughs> what even with this game? Can I walk out? I can. Okay. So I'll walk out for the time being. What are you? I saw a context sensitive button.
the pitchfork. Oh my goodness, the self-awareness of game tropes and stuff is so funny. So there's a hay monster that was waiting for us to manipulate Frankie the Pitchfork into destroying all the other hay bales. Or no, not actually, was waiting for, you know, the Pitchfork to be incapacitated in some manner. And now is wandering about. Oh my goodness. We have this King Bee. Hey buddy, could you spare me a dime? Hey buddy, don't ignore me. Oh, they always ignore me. Hey! Uh, oh, what do you want? You know, in my own country, I am a king! Oh, really? Yeah, that bitch threw me out. Apparently the hive keeps getting stolen. I don't care. I couldn't fit in the f thing anyway. You see how fat she is? <laughs> Yikes. Now I'm reduced to the states of a bum. Uh, well, yeah, anyway, yeah, I gotta go now. <sighs> You're like the rest of them. I ain't gonna tell you about the big breasted babe then. What? <laughs> the, the big what? Uh, thought that might have got your attention. She's lovely. That's why the wife kicked me out. Uh, all I wanna do is pollinate her. Oh, she's got stupid moves like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> this is certainly some imagery. I thought you said you had big. Yeah, over there, behind us. What? Hang on a second. Breath. She's a sunflower. Yeah. What did you expect it to be? She's a sunflower with big breasts. I'm a bee. Stupid bastard. Okay, I'm <laughs> Sorry. You gotta help me out, buddy. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, hmm. What's in it for me? Cash. That'll do. I thought you were begging. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got nothing. Ha, sussed him. <laughs> That's so funny. So, what's going on with this big breasted sunflower? Excuse me? And this king bee? And I still need to get to like the higher levels of the barn? Oh my goodness. Hey, uh, <laughs> it has breasts. <laughs> There's a guy over there, he said he wants to. Some of the with stigma, not quite sure. Pollinate you? Sounds a bit strange, but... Go away. Ooh, that big tail of yours is far too tickly. <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. Hey, get that big, long, hairy tail away from me. <laughs> I'll suit yourself, then. Hmm, be like that. Okay. Certainly interesting. Wow, there's there's so much going on. Hi guys. Oh, ah, no. Are they are they tickling him? Wow, in what world do bees tickle? Tickly bees. You're pacifist. <laughs> there's my answer. Ticklish flowers. Like some flowers maybe. Oh no. Hmm. I think I got a plan. I know your plan, Conker. Oh no. I don't like where your brain is going. Are we really. Are we really gonna tickle this sunflower? Is that what's gonna happen? So they're tickling the sunflower, which. Which is probably going to expose the sunflower's breasts so that the king can pollinate her, which is very not cool. <laughs> it's very inconsent, non consensual. So we can go back in here, but in the meantime, we gotta find more bees, and I really want to go higher up on the on this building again, and we need to access that top level. So let's try and do that while we can. I think we can get on top of this box. Don't jump again, please. There we go. Nice. So it looks like we'll have some platforming to do up here. What? <laughs> I love that. The <laughs> 
I love that they're upside down camera. These bats. Okay. Are they gonna attack me? Is that what's going on if I get too close, or...? I guess we'll we'll do some platforming. Why is my controller vibrating like that? Is it because I'm close to the the monster or what? Did I Why did I see a light bulb? Oh, you know what? I bet the context button is either below me or directly above that. Yeah, cuz I can't hit B while I'm in the air to do that. But that's actually really quite funny. All right, well, we'll just keep on moving. I wish Conker had a little bit more of a shadow underneath him most of the time that I could work with. Can I move the camera at all? Please, thank you. What is with this consent, this context sensitive button? Are those throwing knives? Really, throwing knives? Well, we missed, but I can take out the bats that way. I wonder if I... I okay, so I have an unlimited supply, it seems. Yeah, cool. And I don't know if we'll really get anything for killing all of the bats, but it could make our lives a little bit easier. Is there something over there? I don't know. I don't think so. But in the meantime, I think we're going to have to cut down the pitchfork, Frankie, in order to fight that hay bale monster. Nope, a little bit off still. <laughs> Frankie's doing a lot of bobbing and weaving. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> well, we've freed Frankie, and there is some cash there. Don't really know how. We're gonna access that, but maybe it's a good time to head on down? There's that monster, but we do have Frankie around. What'd you do that for? Dumb s**t. Dumb s**t. Why is it you have to do that? I don't see I Do I? Yes, you do, action. Oh, sorry. Oh. What? Thank you, Mr. Squirrel. I was hanging up there by my pretty You don't have a neck. It is like one of them do. executions you hear about. Um, yeah. Anyway, what are we gonna do about this guy over here? Well, what do you wanna do about it? I'll do anything for you, cause you is my bestest buddy in the whole wide world. What a swing. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, let's get rid of those guys. That's hilarious. So, what exactly did you have in mind? Well now, just hop on the back here, and we're gonna go for a ride. Yeah, okay, but don't get any funny ideas now. This is purely a means to an end. Well, I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, Conker. <laughs> oh! What is this music? Can I attack you like this? Oh, I can do that attack. What? He's on fire? How did he catch on fire? Run! I can jump too? That's hilarious. I think I hit him again. What? Is he like the Terminator hay bale monster? What? I <laughs> buff you. What? Okay, so that hurt quite a bit. Where's our friend Frankie? Come on, we got a... We got a hay bale terminator to get rid of. Wow, the, the startup time on that attack is rather extensive. We hit him again, though, I think. Get out of there, Conker! Oh, the floor is breaking. The floor has broken. And we fell with him. That that can't be good. What the heck? What is going on? Ow. Ow, I think I 
hurt my leg. Oh, no. Ah, what's up, little squirrel fella? Ah, we showed him, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Is he yeah, dead? Piece of cake. Yeah, well, it was actually. That makes a change. Yeah. Um, Blocking off the exit. I don't think I like the sound of that. <laughs> What? This is hilarious, guys. Susie, nine millimeter. I'm right here, sweetie pie. You just tell me where to shoot. <laughs> Yikes. We got some dodging to do. Run, conquer, run. <laughs> and it's like the Terminator. That's so funny. So there come the rockets. So here's the real question. It's gonna be, what are our conditions for actually winning this battle? I'm thinking we either need to have him attack something in particular with the rockets. There is an exit. We could run over there. But I get the impression we're supposed to actually try to take him out, you know? He's backing up to launch an attack. Okay, so that did not work as anticipated. Come on! Conquer, you gotta jump on him! Oof. So we ended up dying. I don't know why you didn't jump on the, the pitchfork. We have an extra life, or what? I guess we do. Oh, so we're playing the cutscene again. Do I have to just go to the exit? I feel like, am I supposed to beat this thing, or we're going to skip this, so we have an extra life, which is nice. I mean, I guess I'll try to head over towards the exit, but I get the impression I'm really supposed to be trying to fight this thing. Oh, maybe I have to go up here. Can I even get off of him? Not really, can I? Wow, there's so much. Can I can I leave? No, I can't. So I can't climb up there now. Maybe I have to bait him into the wires. Oh, so that's pretty uh pretty interesting. The big do not push button. The question is, how do I actually access it? Right? I think what I might need to do is get him to attack the three different pillars or whatever so that this place fills up with water and then he gets electrocuted or something. Maybe? I don't know, guys. Working on it, though. Or maybe I should just... Well, we hurt our leg, right? So maybe I can't run or something? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what to do. It's alright. We'll persevere. Let's see if I can bring him over here. Maybe he just needs to get wet from this one. Yeah. So that did quite a bit of damage. I think. Can I... What do I do to attack it? Oh! I I heard the context-specific or context-sensitive button. Which is all I needed to hear. So we need to get him wet with the electricity so that he malfunctions. And then after doing that, we need to jump up and hit B to use the button, I guess. Which is pretty funny. Oh, come on. I was... Okay. So... Come on, let me let me use it. Really? I was trying to hit B, jumping and hitting B, neither of which was incredibly effective. So get him wet again, I guess. Come on over, bud. Into the water. And we'll try again.
There we go. I had to get that timing just right, I guess. Oh! What is going on? He's not dead? Still? Yikes. Alright, well, at least we know the process now, right? So we'll keep on running. I can't even see the, the rockets as they're coming after us. I wonder how necessary it really even is. Oh, I probably need him to jump up high enough to actually get the button. Alright, well, either way, he got electrified, so we got our chance here. <laughs> Punch that button and get ready to run away. He doesn't have arms to attack us with at the moment, but we're making progress, I guess. And notably, though... Darn it. I don't see water coming out of any of them at the moment. Oh, come on. Where, yeah, so the question is, where are we going to get the water, right? Got to get some chocolate. I think we're going to need to get him to fire rockets at this one over here, and that'll get the water to come out. Oh man, I was... <laughs> did he just... Did he just say I'm not as young as I used to be? That's inherently a pretty funny thing to say. Alright, well this should bait them to a break open the pipe. There should be one more, I think. Yep, alright. Come on over, bud. Yep, you're hopping away. One more? Almost. There we go. So this should give us what'll probably be the final hit. I was certainly not expecting a boss fight like this. What? I hit it. Come on. There we go. What treat are we gonna get this time around for beating this boss? What? It's still moving? Okay, it's finally puttered out. We definitely showed him that time. Um, hey, Frankie. Frankie, where'd he go? Oh, no. No, Frankie. Uh, uh, Mr. Skull, I take every dollar. You don't look too good. Um, you may be all right. What do you mean, all right? <laughs> I'm broken too. I'm just firewood from now. They'll be using me as toothpicks before you know it. No, you'll be all right. Come on. What are you gonna do? Well, I got an Duck idea. Team. Okay, let's see. Hey, hold still. This fine enough? There you go. Good as new. Uh, well, kind of feels all right. Well, it ain't so bad after all. What do you think? Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> what, what do you mean? That looks great. You know, thank you, Mr. Squirrel. I think that of all the people in the world I've ever met, you has got to be the most generous, kindest, nicest, nicest, loveliest spirit. Okay, yeah, no need to get <laughs> sentimental. Anyway, we got to find a way out of here now. Yeah, you could be right. Uh-oh. Yep. Yeah, typical. Oh, um, uh, anyway, Mr. Screw, I've, uh, I've got to go. See ya. What? You're not going to help us out? Oh. <laughs> oh, well. But I'd better start swimming. Hmm. I want to look at those wires. Better be quick. So, can I make it to the exit? In time? Or am I going to have to hop onto one of the ladders? What? It's not a... <laughs> I thought that that was a gate. Or like an archway I could, you know, walk through or something. Not not just pointing to the tower that's going to be the exit. So we got to start climbing our way out. This is so dramatic. So much more than I thought it would be. Wait, no, come on. Context sensitive button. What do I need here? Throwing knives? Okay. What do I need to throw them at? This guy? Am I trying to get rid of those? Drop them into the water, I guess? 
The water's rising at a rather rapid rate, though. And I don't actually see what good this really does for us. But it seems to be what we need to do. So we'll give it a go for the time being. Is the water actually rising? I think so. I don't know what that's doing for us. In fact, I think it made things worse. Because now... The, the water is super electrified. Uh-oh. Yep, we are super, super dead. So, I don't know why they gave the context-sensitive button to use throwing knives, when I feel like the n next best thing we should have done was just actually swim across. We definitely showed him that time. So, anyways. Thanks, Frank, for leaving us alone and just abandoning us <laughs> in our time of need. But, yeah, so we'll, we'll climb and then do some swimming. And see if we can swim over to another tower with its ladder. But, again, I'm a little bit confused as to why we need the throwing knives here. Because it looks already electrified, right? So, I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to do this so I don't get hit by them in the future, or what? I don't know, guys. I'm at a bit of a loss. This is the one that said exit. This is not what I need right now. Allow me to assure you that I could use something other than throwing knives. I think we've gotten all of them. And I think that's what triggers this. Oh no, we didn't even get all of them, did we? So I'm getting damaged heavily every single time I touch the water. And I think that'll be a game over, actually. And if that's the case, that could be rather unfortunate. If we have to do that whole battle again. Missing, have you seen this squirrel? <laughs> that's the game over screen? In the exact same font as Banjo-Kazooie? <laughs> We've gone missing. So, it auto-saved. Which is good to know. Alright, nice. So we just start back here. Which is quite cool. The next question is, are there any other, I don't know, ladders on any of the other towers that we can start climbing up at this point? I don't think so. Oh, you know what? What if I, what if I throw the cutting knife at the ladder itself? And maybe get it to, like, fall a little bit or something? No, that's not going to be helpful. Hmm. Maybe... Let's see what happens when this falls. Does it do anything? No, I don't think so. Maybe... I just have to cut all of them. Or something. I need to identify where all of them are and get all of them within a certain time. I don't really know how it'll help me, but that's literally the only thing I can think of to do at the moment with these throwing knives. They seem to be designed in a way that I'm supposed to do that. Oh man, that water's already starting to rise. So we've cut all of them that I can see. And the water is no longer electrified for some reason. Don't really know why. <laughs> I guess... Oh, you know what? It's because... Oh, I need to get... I think I need to get to this context-sensitive button. It's... I, it all makes sense now. It's because I... The wires were connected to electricity. And... Once I cut them, they're no longer going to be connected to electricity. And no longer pose a problem. If I could actually cut this, it'd be really nice. 
Thank you. Now the next question is, are there any more? And it doesn't seem so. At least I don't see any more, and... I don't really have a chance to work with anymore, so... Now we locate where we're going to go next. I think I see a platform over this direction, so... We'll swim with our armies over this way. And hope for the best. Is the water going to continue to rise? I don't think so. If it is, I don't see anything else to do, so we'll head on out. And it looks like we narrowly survived that encounter. What an experience. And who... Where are we? Who are you? Oh! Hello there. So did I seriously get hurt from that fall? So this is how we get this money, I guess. Hey, be respectful. Who wants to be a millionaire? Me, actually. Who wouldn't, really? <laughs> so, I'm curious to see what else is down there, though, if I missed anything. Let's see, can I look down without having to jump back down and potentially take more fall damage? Because it seems to be a common theme. It's just some chocolate and, and that guy there. And I don't think we were breaking that door open, so... Alright, looks like we got this, and, ah, uh, that was behind there, so, okay. Looks like we're... we're doing well. We've been monetarily rewarded for destroying the Hay Terminator. <laughs> what an encounter that was. Alright, let's climb on up. Oh, we're really climbing up. Oh, and there's some more bees. Interesting, so we're gonna have to bring the bees from all the way up there down, aren't we? We have some wasps? What are they doing up here? Up to no good. I hope we don't fall, is all I can say. We don't really have a lot, we don't have any lives to spare at this point. We're getting really high up, but the other wasps haven't really done anything to me, so I don't really know why they're there. Is there anything on that platform? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out on the way down. The real question is going to be, what do we do all the way up here? Because it looks like the answer is just fall. But fall into or onto what? Right? I don't know if there's... Oh, there's something in here maybe? Or is the idea that the fall will... Oh, man. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I trust this, but the game wouldn't be designed for me to come all the way up here. It weren't worth it, so... Here we go, guys. What? <gasps> Whew. So, interesting. So we unlocked that, which is worth noting. There's also supposedly no longer water in here, I guess. But that <laughs> almost caught me off guard. I was not ready to hit a context-sensitive button there. So that could have been pretty tragic. Now we can actually continue a little bit of our exploration from before. Hopefully not get too slippery, slidey over here. And hopefully get these bees. Don't fall off, Conker. Do not fall off. Bees? You with me? You coming? No? Why not? <laughs> I was right I was right there with you guys. Come on. Why aren't they coming with me? I'm literally, you know, running around and I don't get it. Hmm. Alright, well, maybe maybe one of you will be able to tell me why this isn't working for whatever reason. Maybe I need to get rid of the wasps or something? I don't know. That's awfully uh, awkward. But anyways, we will try to head down in a calm, controlled manner. <laughs> But what I was going to say is I think that context-sensitive button 
has a very vertically oriented hitbox, I guess. And so that was what we were actually interacting with when we were really high up in the barn. Oh, now we are falling. We are falling, but that is okay because this is gonna lead us to an extra life, I believe. I'm trying to remember, what do we do? We unlocked that gated area at the bottom, at the ground level. That's what that switch did for us. All right. Oh, we have three. How did that happen? Can I just, can I just jump down here? Nope, I can't. Not safely, at least. And are there bees over there? Is that true? It is. So I've got to figure out how to get these bees to actually follow me. Is there something I have to do? Do I have to look at them? I don't know, guys. But it's going to be a little bit of a pain <laughs> going around trying to get those again. But I guess it's not the end of the world. All right, so we can head in here for the first time, I believe. Get ourselves an extra life. And some money! Nice. Somewhat expected, right? Every time we complete one of those big tasks. Oh, another wise guy. Come on, then. Cool. I'm gonna have that gold card before you know. Gold card? What's that referring to? I love that when we pick up money, we start walking away or something. We just got a whole bunch of cash coming out of our pockets. It's pretty funny. So it looks like, just in terms of other things we need to do in this area, there's just the bees. And I think that's it, honestly. Right? Like we did the whole... I don't know, unless there's something more. I think this is just in order to get us access to the barn in the first place. Maybe need to talk to that. I mean, there are some bees up here. What do I need to be doing to get these bees to follow me? What button do I press, right? Because I've found three locations with bees now. Oh, you know what? It probably reset the quest because I didn't complete it by the time that I had gotten the game over. Hello? Do I need to bring these bees over first? Come on. Or, oh, I need to redo the whole thing. So I need to interact with this sunflower first. Yeah. And then I go over to the king, and then I have to bring the bees over for the first time, and then I have to go get the other ones. Wow. So that's actually quite disappointing, <laughs> to be honest, that it doesn't save the progress of the quests that you're, I guess, in the middle of. And it makes me wonder what other quests I've been in the middle of that are now going to be interrupted. Because I don't know. But, oh well. That's the way the game is made, right? So we'll we'll play along with it for now. Let's head on up here again and oh, we gotta turn a little bit more tightly than that, Cocker. I will say uh, Banjo definitely, even though he was a very sleepy, little borderline lazy, sloppy bear, he moved a little bit more tightly. A more controlled manner than our friend Conquer here. Yeah. Although, one might even say that that's more due to Kazooie than anything else. Oh, I should have just fallen off that way. So, part of me was wondering if I would have to worry about getting too far ahead of or behind the bees and if they would stop following me at some point come on guys 
Come on, come on. <laughs> Today, please. But it seems like that's not really much of a concern I need to have. So we'll just keep on coming this way. What happened to Bert? No, Bert, you were such a lovely gatekeeper. I guess now that there's no cheese to gatekeep, <laughs> your job is... Uh, your, your character as a whole is unnecessary. But alright, we'll lead these bees this way. And then there are the set of bees close to the entrance. And then there's the set of bees up really high up. And I don't know, is there like a... I know that in Banjo we could check our progress, right? On all the different quests we were doing. Um, not even necessarily quests, but just all the jiggies we'd collected and notes we'd collected and stuff. And I'm wondering if there's something similar for Conquer, where we can check how much money we've collected per level. That'll tell us some semblance of completion, which is something I'm going to aim for, for what it's worth. Alright, so that's another set of bees. Let's go back over this way. Oh, I should also say, I know that I could have gone this way, but... Or, I don't know that I could have gone this way because of the water. I don't know if that would reset the bees. So what I'm actually going to do is test that out now. We have found these bees, and I've taken fall damage from that high up. That feels like... Okay, so this is important. I didn't know if I could go in the water or not um, with the bees following me. It turns out I can. So that was a waste of time to go the long way, but now I know. And I don't think it's unreasonable to consider that a potential problem. And wow, they weren't kidding. This is this is a big breasted sunflower. <laughs> that is not something I'd ever thought I'd imagine. But there it is in front of me. A big breasted sunflower. Wow. Alright, so now we got some climbing to do again. See how far up we can get. Oh nope. Don't don't walk off like that, Conquer. We got we got some work to do. So you're gonna climb on Nope, don't fall. Alright. And now we're gonna do this. And nope. Come on, Conquer. You were able to do it before. I don't know why you are not as enthusiastic about it now, but uh, we will change that. What if I go over this way? Oh, I almost made it up. Okay, maybe here? There we go. Let's check the pause button. So it just says continue and it says our total amount of money, $400. Wow, so those are some pretty big stacks of cash. I think this is the last set of bees we had seen. Need to be careful. Conquer is not the most apt platformer. <laughs> okay, come on, come on, come on, yep. That's how I feel about you right now, Conquer. Don't screw it up. Can we talk about how, like, just, like, <laughs> dramatic this game is? It's absolutely hilarious to me that the game had a whole on like Terminator-esque fight involving <laughs> this hay bale monster. It was just, it was just so funny. Completely unexpected. Such an incredible type of humor. Okay. So we safely made it down without taking fall damage. That was really the goal there. And I'm pretty impressed we were able to do it. Now let's bring these guys on over. Come on. Oh man, that, that queen bee is going to be really upset if we succeed and help out our our king. Is this the last set? Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe there's another set of bees. Are they inside the barn? I would not be incredibly surprised if that were the case. We'll take a look, to be safe. It looks a little bit difficult to check the barn at the moment, though. <laughs> For fairly obvious reasons. I don't see... Oh man, they took the brush out of the paint can. That's unfortunate. 
That was a really funny interaction. I wonder if I can make it over there if I hover. I think I can. Success. So the question is, are there bees? I do not see bees. Nor do I hear bees. So we will be leaving. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty low-hanging fruit, wasn't it? <laughs> so the only other thing that comes to mind is maybe over this way? We hadn't really found any bees in this part of the level. So maybe they're like up here somewhere. Yep, and there they are. I'm glad we explored this area earlier because it felt like it was unused space, right? That was still very much intentionally there. Oh, I'm gonna take damage. Ah, <sighs> those of you that liked, or that have seen my, you know, Banjo-Kazooie Let's Play and stuff, you'll know that I like just kind of jumping around and, and, well, platforming. But this game seems to be punishing that sort of free-spirited platforming I enjoy. So that'll take some mental reprogramming. It's also worth noting that with how high up I was and how high or, or how low I fell, I actually lost the bees. So it is possible to get far enough away from the bees. Are you not gonna... Oh no! Don't tell me. Did going in the barn reset the progress of that quest? Do not tell me. Do I need to redo that? I do. Oh my goodness. That's such poor design. Literally transitioning to any room. I thought it was because I game over. Not game over it even. I thought it was because <laughs> I died. It's literally any room you change into. That is... That is bad, is what that is. Here I am thinking I lost that, those bees. I mean, I can do it more quickly this time, I guess. But, yikes. Yep. That is not good. Rare, I thought you'd be better. I hold you to such a high standard. Yeah. Well, we know where all the bee locations are now. <laughs> At least I think so. I mean, that's five of them, right? So, I should get the, the job done. Let's not jump up too high, I guess. Otherwise, we'll take fall damage. <laughs> so we're gonna run and run and run and see if they still keep up with us. Coming? Any day now. Okay, so that's the second set. Wow. And I think it's such a natural thing to think maybe, you know, maybe there are some bees in the barn that I can bring out or something. So, yeah, that's that's pretty disappointing. But, hey, no game is perfect. And this game has a lot going for it that isn't the gameplay at the moment, so that's alright. We will bear with it for the time being. Come on down, guys. <laughs> really? So if I landed on that platform, maybe like just barely above that, I would not have taken fall damage. But with that, I did. Alright, so we'll wait for this set of bees to catch up. And then, I think, we'll go all the way over there and pick up those bees. And then we'll get the ones really high up on that bucket. If you guys didn't know where the bees were before, you know where they are now. You can have these memorized like no other. Okay. Let's see, will they follow me if I do this? They will. Okay, so that wasn't even... <laughs> I wasn't even learning about the game, right? That I was just talking about how I had fallen too far, gotten too far ahead and, and lost the bees. But nope, it's not actually a concern I need to have. Do they sort of rubber band, or are they catching up? Gotta pick up the pace, bees. Come on. Are they paused, or what? It looked like they were stuck in place. I wonder... Will they... 
Will they lock on? Do I need to wait for them to arrive? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Either way, let's work on getting that last set of bees. How do we want to do it, is the question. I think we'll go for it the same way we did last time. Oh, do you guys see that slide? <laughs> you try to change directions. It's arguably best to just jump and then hover briefly, rather than try to actually get Conker to change directions on the ground. So we can come up here and uh, crouch, jump into the middle area, and we should be good to climb. I always liked in Banjo-Kazooie when I could sort of just kind of drop off a really high height and then flutter right by the ground. I wish I could do that here with that hover, but it does not seem to be an option. So we're going to take it very slow, very carefully, because we are intoxicated and have some very important tasks to accomplish, because we got to get paid. Everybody needs money. Who knows what Conker's going to use it for, though. <laughs> no guarantees it'll do any good for the world. But that's alright. So let's head on this way. If we drop down in the center, we should land on this platform, which I think will be okay. Nice. And with that, the hardest part is over. The part where I thought there was a very reasonable chance we could die from just falling from atop that bucket. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. There you go. She's all yours. Oh, uh, thanks very much. Uh, I'm going in. Wish me luck, fella. <laughs> Conquer, I feel you. What do we just listen to? Cheers, little fella. <laughs> I feel like a new man. So do I. Conquer, honey. Fancy going for a bath? What? A bath. Okay. Now this is what I call a <laughs> Conquer. This game, guys. <laughs> Things I never in a million years <laughs> thought I would be imagining. But look at that. <laughs> look at that sunflower. <laughs> that is something. I'm, uh, I'm trying to jump. There we go. Wow. In what world did you think you'd ever play a game where... I'm here. Hurry up. Pick me up. <laughs> this money where you play as a squirrel who helps... Get back and butler. Here we come. <laughs> where you play as a squirrel and help some random bee who's been cheating on his queen bee wife use some bees to tickle a sunflower with big breasts so that he can pollinate her, basically have sex, so that you can jump on her big breasts and bounce up to get some cash. Unbelievable. <laughs> this game is something else, guys. But it's been hilarious, and I think that may- well, for what it's worth, that covers everything I think we can do here, right? We've climbed up everything- did we get that? Yeah, because that's how we get all the way up to the top of that diving board. We turned into an anvil. And we got the cheese with the mouse and the bees and the cash. I don't think of anything else we can do in this world. So maybe, I think that's what, 500 in total? And that's 400 from this area. Maybe that's the max we can get. I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll look into that uh, without, you know, trying to spoil myself as much as possible. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was quite the episode with the Terminator Haybell monster, with the the sunflower and the bees. It's been what? Oh my goodness! What are you reading, Conquer? What's going on there? <laughs> what are you reading? <laughs> this game, guys. I tell you, I'm looking forward to the next episode. I hope you guys are too. But until the next episode, it's Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>